Hunger Child, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at SoulGrind.tv in the Cancer Viewing Room. I'll do my best to shout back or answer one week later. Well, it's a two-part day. Your ruling planet will begin in Aries for a third day in a row, so your emotional focus will be your career, basically. So you'll be very professional for most of the day. Then tonight, the moon will move into Taurus, shifting your emotional focus to your social life. So today, I think, is a very busy, workaholic kind of day. And tonight, I think you'll be feeling sunny and social. Now, there is some breakthrough today. Zipping around the sun, we're in Chapter 3 of Sun and Cancer. Happy birthday, by the way, to all you Cancers. I try to say it as much as I can. And today, Uranus is ruling the day. That means breakthrough. Now, in some cases, it's breakdown. Any cancers in denial today may have a breakdown or situation that breaks down for them. But for most, especially if you're watching Soul Garden, you're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to have an awareness. The topic, of course, is your ego. How you respond to certain situations, how you put yourself out there, how you dress yourself, how you look, how you present yourself in pictures, all kinds of things. This is what cancers are changing. Their image, their personality, and their persona. And if you have a missing link to that puzzle, you will likely get that answer here in the next 24 hours. Then finally to our shout out goes to a soul gardener named Wendy who asked the question, what does it mean to have Venus conjuncting the midheaven in Cancer? Well, that's a very deep question. For those of you who don't know, the midheaven is the top line in a natal chart. It points to what you're working towards in life. So we're working towards our midheaven, working away from the bottom part of our chart, which is the fourth house. I'm not going to get into that term. It's a very complicated Latin term. But having Venus in Cancer says that you love to nurture, and you're working towards that love to nurture, and you're working towards your own feminine energy, you're working towards your own creativity. That's what feminine v Venus is, is about femininity, creativity, and this is something you weren't born with per se, but you're having to develop. By the way, Angelina Jolie is also a person who has Venus in Cancer, which is why I think she can't stop adopting children. All right, Cancers, that's all I have for Wednesday. See you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So